Hey, welcome to Gun Stuff. Today, we get to come out to the range and play around with some exploding targets, some detonating targets. So what we have here today is the Firebird 50 Bio Target. So what this is, is it's an exploding target that you can peel and stick and put on, the put on your target. And when you shoot it, it'll, it'll detonate, it'll, leave a, it'll make a flashbang, sounds like kind of like a shotgun shell, and it'll send out a little bit of smoke. But uh, what makes this special is that we've all shot Tannerite, we've all shot all these different binary mixing agents that, that cause these things to detonate when you shoot them with a high-powered rifle. They have to have that high-powered rifle shock. Uh, what sets this apart one, first is that it's biodegradable. So you shoot these things, they explode, you don't have any cleanup, you don't, or you don't have any messy uh, stuff that, that's gonna damage the environment or anything like that, but gives you the target recognition that you that you need when you're wanting to, to shoot something like that. Uh, these don't require any mixing, and what comes in this pack, uh, you get these packs for $17.99, comes with 10, uh, 10 by 10 detonating targets in it, but this is the size of the target. Okay, so this thin little puck here is 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 what goes on the target. So these things uh, are I, I can think of a, a lot of different uses for these, and we're going to put a lot of them through the test today. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to stick them on some clays because these are designed to go in the it, it sit into the inside of a clay target when it gets launched. You shoot it with shotguns, but we're also going to we brought all kinds of different firearms out here to shoot these with today. Everything from a 22 short all the way up to 12 gauge uh, slugs, stuff like that. We're gonna shoot this with a lot of different things and we're gonna attach them to a lot of different surfaces because uh, these have different uh, results when you place them on different things such as steel targets versus paper targets. And also we're gonna throw them on a couple of other targets like soda bottles and stuff like that just to see you know, what, how it enhances and makes it more fun to shoot when you're out at the range for a very low cost. So we've got a lot of different ways to, to, to try these out today and we're gonna put it through the test. So let's get loaded and let's get started. All right, so here we are. We got the Firebird 50. We put it up on a cardboard target. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this as our baseline. Uh, we're going to put this on a cardboard target. Uh, I've, I'm shooting this with a, uh, my 22 long rifle conversion. So this is normally a 5.56 rifle. I just took it out, put my 22 bolt in there because we want to show that these things can be shot with uh, low, low velocity ammunition. So this is shooting subsonic ammunition out of a suppressor uh, just for just to give it so that way we can hear more of the actual crack and the and get more of the explosion going off. So we're just going to go back. It's, it recommends 10 meters as a safety as a, as a distance. So we're going to go back about 10 meters. I'll shoot this and this is going to be our baseline. Then we'll start putting these targets on other surfaces steel, melons, you name it. We'll start putting it on all this stuff to see what kind of, uh, see how it enhances our shooting experience. All right, so we're here at 10 meters. We're gonna take our first shots. This is 22 long rifle hypersonic. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this today. Oh yeah. All right, let's check it out. All right, so blew the back of the tar blew, blew the back of the target out. Uh, a bunch of these impacts are from just zeroing these guns. Uh, we had to zero some of these guns before we started shooting today because uh, they were in different states, different sites, stuff like that. So we changed them up. Uh, but hit this, it detonated. The plastic casing that it comes in, uh, I don't see any of it around. Uh, I'm sure if we get down in the grass and started looking around that we might be able to find a couple chunks. But the things are meant to be biodegradable, so there's no, there's no real cleanup. Uh, so shoot them, detonate big puff of smoke, big flash. Uh, they, it sounded about like a, a shotgun, like a, like a bird shot or something like that, and a light, a light shotgun shot. But uh, these are gonna be a lot of fun. Let's start putting them on some other targets now. All right, so we've got our baseline out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting this on some other, other uh, surfaces. So what we have here, we have our typical steel target. We're gonna shoot this and we're gonna see how it affects the blast. Of course, it's, this is uh, AR-500 steel, so it's gonna deflect everything back out. But we just wanna see what the difference looks uh, in, in the enhancement of shooting it on steel versus paper uh, for us just to have fun shooting this. So just to see how much more blast it gives, how much more report, all that good stuff. So we're gonna step back to 10 meters and same thing and we're gonna shoot this one. All right, so we are 10 meters. Uh, Firebird 50 on steel. 22 long rifle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was loud, wasn't it? Uh, that was a lot louder than I thought it would be. Uh, so that's that's awesome. Uh, I can't wait to start putting this on other things now. So let's let's just keep on going. 
All right, so here we are. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna give you a little comparison. We've got the Firebird 50 Bio little target here. It comes, like I said, little puck. You guys have already seen this explode a time or two. Uh, and what we're gonna do is, is just put it up with its, its uh, natural competitor in the wild here. So this is our just regular Tannerite. Uh, we mixed a really small batch here, but uh, we still don't know exactly how it's gonna compare with this versus this and what it's gonna look like. So for even to shoot a small batch of this, this is, this is how much you need. Uh, where this is just a pill and stick, stick it on target wherever you want it, uh, get your, get your uh, feedback and everything and your explosive target. This, you gotta bring your tape, you gotta mix it all up, it's gotta be pre-mixed and everything. So this may be a little bit more than what we need, but we're gonna find out here in a second, we're not sure. So we'll go ahead and tape this up on yours. All right, so here we are, we're, at 10, we're about 10 meters out. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a timed fire and we're gonna fire on, I'm gonna fire on the Firebird target and you're gonna fire on the Tannerite and we're gonna try and time it so that they're relatively close so that way you guys get a chance to see the, the difference between the two. We may have a little bit too much Tannerite but we won't know until we shoot it. All right, you ready? All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> um, pretty comparable. I mean, I could. I mean, I seen a lot of flash on my Firebird. I didn't really I saw see more any. On yours than I did on the yeah, I didn't see any. Was more of just a yeah, poof. just big poof in a cloud. You can see on the steel there was a little bit more of a. Uh, yeah, fire. there was definitely more fire on the on the Firebird. I think the Firebird had a little, a little more visually stimulating, but uh, I think that the you know with Tannerite, you know, you can you can add it up. You can make bigger bigger more. Uh, more powerful explosions out of it, so that's going to be a, an advantage for the Tannerite. But this, uh, you can see on the targets there also the burn marks on it. So uh, it's one of the things too that you know we've we talked about it before, making sure we have a plan to be able to put these out if there if there is some kind of fire or something like ever shooting in an area like that. But the thing is, is that it put out a, a much bigger blast, and and hopefully we'll be able to see that in the slow mo. So we're going to go ahead and start setting up some more targets, and then we're going to go from there. Tannerite didn't go off. All right, so we're back about 20, 25 yards away right now. Uh, we tried shooting the other, the uh, Tannerite with a nine millimeter sub gun. It just wasn't detonating. It was just uh, punching through the bag. It wasn't delivering enough energy. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with the AR. Uh, this is a 5.56. This is our Faxon uh, Ultralight. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it at 25 yards. We have a really small charge down there on the target. Uh, so we don't expect, the only thing I'm just backing up for is, is mainly so I don't get splashed back from the steel. So we're going to go ahead and engage it here and then we'll try and do a side-by-side -side comparison with the video to show you guys the, the explosive difference between the two. Alright, here we go. Going hot. Did I miss it? All right, so here we are. Now it's time to start having some fun. We're putting these uh, targets on some different things. We're gonna, so we're going to start off with the soda pop bottle. We're going to shoot it and see see how it looks with the uh, photo and the flame and the soda and everything. <laughs> All right, let's go and take a look at it. <clears throat> so one of the things we wanted to do, it real quick, is we got we got a bunch of different things. We got melons and stuff. We're gonna shoot here in a second, but I just wanted to put it on something like liquid. So if you stick this thing on like a gallon jug or something, you just want to throw a jug of water out there. You still want that explosive effect. Uh, it's still gonna detonate. It's still gonna send your fireball out, and it, you know you're still gonna have all the ex water and everything that's gonna give you that dramatic uh, presentation and that dramatic impact. So you can see here, of course, of course the rifle would naturally be able to do this on its own uh, with with no problem. The water's gonna blow up any type of soda bottle or anything. 
anything like that. I mean, the uh, rifle will be able to blow up any type of soda bottle. Uh, but when you add the smoke and the flame in with it, it just gives a much more dramatic effect uh, on target. And one of the things we were talking about also is being able to use these when we're shooting our regular targets here at the range. So as you can see on the front of the target here, I have some black dots. Uh, so what you, some of the things that you can do for competition, for fun, whatever, you can take these targets and you can stick them on the back in the exact same place that the dot is. And then you, you can have those people shoot. And then you can throw some surprises in there or something like that. Of course, keeping it safe, uh, but the, just being able to put them on wherever you want, whatever substrate you want, and then being able to engage the threat and then have the explosion and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go step back, we're gonna shoot some more things. So here we are, we're putting the Firebird 50 bio on more and more targets, but I can't sit here and take all the fun. So we gotta get other people involved. We gotta get our friends out here because that's what this stuff's all about, just getting out on range, having fun, and just shooting some of the stuff. So we're gonna get the kids out in a little bit, but we're testing everything right up front to make sure it's safe for the kids. But we're gonna have some fun with it too. All right, go for it. Oh, it fell. Let me fix it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Let's go up and check it out. I don't know. Nope, it didn't. It didn't? What'd you hit? Just blow it? Nick the corner of it. Oh, just nick the corner of it. Alright. So we didn't see any uh, flame off that, so we come up to double check, and you can see that just a part of it just nicked the corner of it right there. So we'll, we, what we've seen so far is I've already nicked a, few, uh, nicked a couple others just out here just tinkering around with them. So we'll just stick it right back on there, turn it right side up so the powder doesn't fall out, and then we'll just stick it right back on here and we'll shoot it again. Hit it. <laughs> Got it that time. You gotta put it right on the top edge of it. Top edge, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're back out here again at 10 meters, and now we're gonna go 5-7. Oh, brain and melon. Normally we always go down and look target, but there's nothing to go down and look at, so we're just gonna get more targets. All right, so we're back out here at the 15, about 10, 15 yards, somewhere around there. Um, we've had trouble getting our tanner right. We've shot it with different, with different rifles, different pistols, stuff like that, and we've had where we've just been nicking the bag or something like that, and the tanner right just kind of opens up, spills out all over, and it hasn't detonated. So I'm gonna shoot it with my 5.7, uh, hopefully hoping that the velocity of the 5.7 will ignite that a little bit better. So down there we have a small bag of Tannerite, uh, probably about a two inch by two inch bag, uh, taped to the head of the target. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it with a pistol and see what we get. All right, so as you can see, I mean, we just keep shooting these bags of Tannerite and if we're just nicking them or whatever, because you know you can't, you know, in the middle of you taking your shot, you can't quite exactly see everything that's going on in super high speed. But we haven't got Tannerite to detonate yet. Uh, of course, it will. Uh, maybe we guess we, we, this is some that we shot up from the, at the end of last season. But it's really a package has really only been open for about two months and it's been properly stored. So uh, it's finicky on what will detonate it, and uh, you, that's something you really aren't looking for when you're looking for exploding targets. So go down and clean up my mess. So all right, so again, here we are. We're down at the, we're down here at the target, and we're looking at the the shots, and we we're having trouble trying to figure out. Okay, well maybe we're not hitting the tannerite. Maybe we're nicking the steel, and it's the splash off the steel is coming up and not and opening the bag and not necessarily hitting the bag. But this is a direct hit from a 5.7 uh, at the, the so you got the two inch by two inch thing of tannerite. Direct hit, 15 yards, and it still didn't detonate. Uh, like I said, this is we opened this package 
at the end of at the at the end of fall and here we are in the spring so it's only been open for a couple of months but maybe that's why we're not 100 percent sure I'm not, i don't shoot a lot of tannerite but thing is is i'm just showing just exactly how finicky this stuff can be so you can get mixtures and uh, the mixture wrong you can get uh different uh things wrong that can go wrong with it and not to mention all the preparation that you put into making these little these these targets so uh, just wanted to show that that these are direct hits that we're getting but we just for some reason we're not sure why it's not going off but it's just not detonating so so we have this is the smallest thing that we could find as far as projectiles bullets stuff like that it's a 22 short okay so we just want to shoot it with a 22 short see if it detonates this is the least powerful pistol slash rifle round I think you can find or that we can find today so I'm gonna go ahead and engage I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it with this and just see how it goes <laughs> all right so pretty much you can engage us with just about anything so we haven't had a chance to take these out we don't I don't have a bow with me right now so they say that you can shoot it with a bow but we'll have to test that another day right now all we have are firearms and this is the least powerful thing we could find and it did a great job all right so we got a chance to shoot the Firebird 50 bio targets and we shot it with everything we could get our hands on only thing we weren't able to get a hold of and shoot today were some of the bows and some of the high power BB guns and stuff like that. But uh, the, as you just seen, the 22 shorts really took care of it. So the Bio 50 is pretty much the first biodegradable uh, detonating target. So it's a self-contained 50 millimeter target. So these things actually look really, really small once you start getting back about 10 yards away from them. The 10, yard, 10 meters is about the safe distance that they call for. Uh, but once you get about, back about 10 meters, these things start to look pretty tiny, uh, especially when you start getting back 50 yards or even further. Uh, if you're going precision rifle, of course, these are, these are meant for close range and long range as well. So if you're shooting long range and you're able to uh, put these on some of your targets, it's going to give you some really good target, detonate, tar target detonation. Uh, you'll be able to see and make sure you hit the targets. Now, we shot these on cardboard, and then we shot them on steel, and we definitely get a much better... Uh, result when you shoot these on steel. It gives a lot, I love the loud report that you're looking for, it gives the big flash, the big smoke. And essentially what we did is, is with these uh, small pucks, you know, we got four of them here, these little small pucks, you can fit a handful of them in your pocket. And with just a handful of these, it pretty much replaces this big giant thing of tannerite. All right, so you don't have to do any of the mixing and the pre-packaging and all the stuff that we that we had to do with the tannerite but one of the cool things about this is that you just walk up you peel it you stick it right to the target and you shoot it with the tannerite stuff like that we had to go out we had to pre-package everything we put them into little two inch squares and then we had once we were done we taped everything up then once we were done we had to go around and we had to pick up all our paper all of our uh, plastic our tape all these things that we used to affix it to the target and not to mention the fact that it was hard to affix these things to the target the tannerite for us today was really finicky we didn't even get a chance we'd never even got a, one of our tannerite targets to actually detonate uh, we got direct hits on them with everything from 556 five, down to nine millimeter down to 22 and none of none of those things detonated the tannerite so it's one of those deals where uh, sometimes you have this stuff if you don't use it we didn't use it all at the end of last winter so we were now opening up in the spring and now we're shooting it and it's it was it was stored properly just like it was just like it was supposed to but yet it still failed to function uh, at the at the opening of spring so it just two months sitting in sitting in my basement in storage with all the rest of my ammo it, it, it's not working right so these things uh, can also be attached to your clay targets so you can take these you can stick them up under on here or under here depending on if your thrower needs it, it you know if it, it prevents it stacking or anything like that with them so they just sit right there so as these things are flying through the air you can shoot them and engage them and they're going to explode in, in the air too so basically these are just a very small smart alternative to your other binary explosives they're a lot safer and then on top of that there's no cleanup these things you get 10 of them come in a pack just like this you get 10 of them in a pack for $17.99 so we had a lot of fun shooting these uh, a couple times we shot them they came off the target like if we missed and we hit a water bottle or we hit something else and it missed uh, all we had to do is they send all these extra little uh, double-sided tape stickies so we shot something and it blew this off of the target say I hit the water bottle on the bottom and it blows off I just pick it right back up stick it right put another piece of uh, double-sided tape on there, stick it right back on the target, and I keep on shooting. We know we love this, and we hope you do too, and we'll see you next time on Gun Stuff.